All right, guys, on the bench, we have a Pace 8041. And uh, let me tell you, this thing is looking good now. Uh, original mic. And uh, I already polished and got this somewhat uh, looking nice. Uh, a couple of more details, um, you know, here and there that, you know, need addressing. But all in all, it cleaned up pretty nice. Um, I should have seen this uh, beforehand. Um, unfortunately, I didn't take pictures or um, record any video of it. I, I don't know, just thought it'd be boring, but it was uh, covered in like uh, dust and uh, it was just like stuck onto the chrome face. So, uh, yeah, I just used that white diamond stuff and um, made sure I didn't get any on this aluminum here. Um, I only did the chrome because it'll definitely discolor this aluminum, uh, these aluminum inserts inside these squares. So if you do use any sort of uh, metal polish, uh, stay away from the aluminum because it will discolor it and, you know, you'll end up polishing that uh, silk screen away. So it's just something to look out for. So yeah, it took me a little while to get this nice and clean, but it's looking way better. Yeah, it had like all this residue on it. You could still kind of see it on this uh, on the case. But um, yeah, I tried to do the best I could here with this case. And then the back here for some reason, oh, that's pinched. Oh, it looks like the speaker wire. We'll get that fixed. Um, Looks like the power is uh, the power jack is not in this one, and somebody had rooted the power out through the top for some reason. So uh, we'll get that fixed as well. But man, what a good looking radio! Um, you know, I picture this on a um, possibly like sitting on the dash on like a 359 Pete or like a 379 Pete. Um, you know, probably like late 70s, early 80s. Um, you know, with the chrome jewel switches, all you truck guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I can see this, uh, fitting in perfectly in there with all the chrome and stuff. This is a nice looking radio. Uh, this one's from like right around 1977 or so. And, uh, yeah, I figured I'd do a video on this. Uh, I'm gonna get it opened up, see, uh, cause I haven't opened this up yet. See what we're doing for, um, electrolytics. Uh, chances are they're gonna have to be changed. Um, I'm going to give this a preliminary check, see if, uh, if it receives and transmits, and, um, you know, we'll see, um, how it is on frequency. So, uh, let me get this hooked up, guys, and, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. All right, I got the covers off, and, uh, got it hooked up to a frequency counter, and, uh, as you can see, everything's working on it, uh, the light go from RX to TX uh, on channel 19 meters working and we oh yeah, are dead on frequency here not uh, not too bad doing pretty good there channel 19 and uh, yeah so when I opened this up I never opened um, like I said I uh, I never had a um, uh, a pace uh, radio um, on my bench so I was kind of shocked to see that this wasn't a uh, Cybernet um, or Uniden so this is actually uh, a Pathcom board uh, which is Pace's uh, parent company so you can see the PLL actually comes socketed there's some really good parts in this radio uh, the relay is uh, Matsushita uh, Panasonic aka Panasonic and um, even the uh, the capacitors they're Nippon Chemicon capacitors which are uh, you know really really good capacitors and uh, this is a well-made radio I can tell you that um, so yeah this it I could be wrong uh, but I think this is proprietary to PACE Pathcom is PACE's um, parent company uh, or PACE is like a subdivision of um, Pathcom so this must be specific to PACE I don't know if other manufacturers use Pathcom chassis but uh, this is the first one I've ever seen you know if somebody um, has any more info 
um, just comment and let me know um, exactly what um, you know Pathcom did as far as other um, other radios. Um, but yeah, this is the first one I've seen, um, and it's inside this pace. But yeah, besides being a well-made radio, um, it seems like it's uh, at least transmitting on frequency. And uh, let me see how we're doing for. Uh, let me see how we're doing, what we're doing for modulation here. Let me get this plugged in. All right. Get this on. Just a quick. Oh, man. I don't know why it's. actually under modulated sorry I'm doing this with one hand yeah sorry guys trying to get this stable all right here we go it's actually under modulated all right we can get that fixed let me put this on the spectrum analyzer now Let's go all the way to the 54. Scrolling over the 54. There it is. Nice and clean all the way up to the harmonic. Yeah, we're doing good there. All right, so far so good. Let me get this on uh, receive here. Let me uh, put a signal through this and uh, we'll see how she's doing on receive because uh, I could tell you I'm kind of hesitant to do anything to this because these are really nice capacitors. Uh, I'm not sure if they're the originals, if this was, uh, you know, redone. Um, I'd have to look at the, um, you know, the capacitors themselves, but, um, you know, I'm kind of hesitant to even touch this radio. Um, let's see what's happening on receive and, um, you know, maybe kind of make an assessment from there. But if it's as, just as good as it is uh, on receive as it is transmitting, uh, I think I'm just going to shelf this radio. And, uh, yeah, this is my own radio, so, um, yeah, maybe just fix that power, power cord. A power jack there but uh yeah other than that let me uh let me put this on the um signal generator and see what we're getting for synad all right guys i got it hooked up to the signal generator here channel 19 and unfortunately it's a little deaf so i got a minus 70 one, two, three, four, five, six, my, uh, minus 76 dBm, just about, and I'm just getting 12. So, it's a little deaf, little deaf, so I'm sure we can improve on that quite a bit. Um, so, unfortunately, it was too good to be true. Uh, I thought I had a, uh, <laughs> a strange radio here that didn't need anything after... You know, being uh, 40 plus years old, so um, I'll end up recapping this, I guess, and uh, doing a full alignment. And uh, yeah, let's. Um, it's actually. She's really off frequency. Damn. Yeah, definitely going to need an alignment. So, all right, guys. What I'll end up doing is probably doing a, uh, a follow-up video on uh, on a uh, kind of like a before and after. So, we'll see if we can do better than the uh, whatever it was there. 70s. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus 76 um, DBM. Uh, I'm sure we can improve on that uh, greatly, even without doing the caps. But uh, yeah, so there you have it. There's a, uh, a Pace um, 8041. Uh, nice looking radio here. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for the follow-up video. Thanks for watching, guys.